how to build the best turbine in all the mods 10. Everything you'll need to build this thing can be seen in my inventory right here, as well as a source of steam and a building stick to make things easier if you so please. Start things off with a 7x7 area of reinforced turbine housing. In the center, place a reinforced turbine rotor bearing. Now, choose a corner and go up by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 blocks, and repeat this for the remaining 3 corners. Now fill everything in with reinforced turbine glass or more reinforced turbine housing until you're one block from the top. Now take your 11 reinforced turbine rotor shafts and place them vertically on top of your reinforced turbine rotor bearing. Come to the bottom and place reinforced turbine rotor blades until one block from the top of the shaft. Now take your preferred inductor and place the corresponding number of blocks. If using insanite, simply follow what I'm doing here. If you'd like a list of every inductor in the game as well as the optimal number of blocks for each inductor, then check the linked video. Now you can take more reinforced turbine housing and go ahead and seal off the roof of your turbine. If you have an excess amount of insanite and want to squeeze just a tiny bit more power out of your turbine, then go ahead and add an extra layer of insanite as well as extending every other block up by one including your turbine rotor shaft. And once again, use more reinforced turbine housing to roof off your turbine. Regardless of what you choose, come down to the bottom front of your reactor and place your reinforced power tap as well as your reinforced fluid port. Use your preferred method to supply steam to the fluid port. Place your reinforced turbine controller and everything should snap into place. Now disengage the coils and turn on your turbine. If using design A, let it spin up to 1800 RPM before re-engaging the coils. If using design B, let it spin up to 900 RPM before re-engaging the coils. If you did everything correctly, you should be getting around 62.93 million FE per tick for design A and 63 million FE per tick for design B. So now you know 